Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a quick and brief overview of error handling. So probably a few times when making scenarios, you'll run into errors, uh, which happens sometimes things aren't mapped correctly, things aren't linked correctly, and mistakes can happen, right? So here I have a demo scenario that basically takes Google Sheets, um, a specific cell from a Google Sheet, and it sends an email to the address of whatever information, whatever data is in that cell, right? So I'll show you guys here the first module. You can see that the cell here says C4, right? And if I go to the sheet, I'll show, you, I'll show you guys what that looks like. The C4 cell here in the sheet has an email address. So if I run this automation, it'll run successfully, right? However, if I go in here and let's say that there is a mistake. And instead of C4, C5 is the cell that is typed in. And I run it again, you will run into an error. And you'll notice an error by the red text and the red exclamation mark uh, logo that you'll see right here. So it'll tell you right here that you'll have a bunch of options for handling errors. And this is what I'm going to talk about today. Uh, you can choose to ignore all errors, ignore errors of the type bundle validation error, which is basically this whole uh, type of error that you've gotten. Essentially what that is, is this right here, there's a missing bundle. So it is missing a uh, parameter for address, right? And you can see in here, um, right here for email address, this is what it's talking about. So um, if you click this link right here, it'll take you to this page, which I have pulled up and it'll give you makes own documentation for error handling. And essentially what it is, is you can have it so that whenever certain specific errors happen, um, your scenario can have basically fallbacks or it will handle the errors. That is what error handling is. So I can choose to ignore all errors, right? So anytime there's any type of error, doesn't matter what type of error it is, it'll be ignored. Or I can specifically ignore this type of error. So if I click this, right, it'll go to ignore. And if I run it again, everything will uh, go through. However, the problem is that this does not always fix your scenarios and they can still remain broken and not work the way that you want them to. And so I always recommend that if there is an error, if you do run into a situation or a problem of some sort, that you go ahead and you address it because that means that your scenario likely isn't working the way that it should right? You shouldn't necessarily have to error handle in order to get your automation to work the way you want it to. And so as we noted before, the problem here is that it is sending it to a non-existent email address. There's no email address in C5. And so it's taking essentially blank text and trying to send an email address to blank text, which is not possible. So the way to fix that is to actually have it send to the cell that has the email address C4. And you can see that now there's no error. It's working as intended. If I go to the operation, you can see that in two recipients for email address, it has the actual email. So hopefully this helps you guys understand error handling.